Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for April 19th, read by Buddy C. from Atlanta, Georgia. AA thought for the day, obsession. The alcoholic has obsessions to an exaggerated degree. Over a period of time, he's built up self-pity, resentments toward anyone or anything that interferes with his drinking. Dishonest thinking, prejudice, ego, antagonism toward anyone and everyone who dares to cross him. Vanity and a critical attitude or character defects that gradually creep in and become a part of his life. Living with fear and tension inevitably results in wanting to ease that tension, which alcohol seems to do temporarily. It took me some time to realize that the 12 steps of AA were designed to help correct these defects of character and so help remove the obsession to drink. Alcoholics Anonymous 3rd Edition, pages 380 and 381. Thought to Consider Within our wonderful new world, we have found freedom from our fatal obsession. Alcoholics Anonymous comes of age, page 139. Acronyms BS, before sobriety. Just for today, organizing from the three legacies of Alcoholics Anonymous. By the spring of 1938, a definite program of action took shape. It was agreed that we needed a tax-free charitable trust or foundation. Wealthy contributors could then deduct gifts from their tax returns. The first move was to choose a name for the new outfit. After a long discussion, we decided to call it the Alcoholic Foundation. This seemed like a resounding title, one that could create an impression of large importance. Still swayed by big ideas, we thought our trusteeship ought to be chartered to do just about anything within the field of alcohol or alcoholism except lobby for prohibition. We intended an arrangement by which we could research, educate, and do a lot of other things. Attention to our membership would be only one of many functions. It was thought that the Board of Trustees should consist of alcoholics and non-alcoholics. The latter were always to be in the majority by a margin of one. This would assure our membership and other contributors that non-alcoholics would be holding the purse strings. Alcoholics Anonymous comes of age, pages 151 and 152. Daily Reflections, Brothers in Our Defects We recovered alcoholics are not so much brothers in virtue as we are brothers in our defects and in our common strivings to overcome them. As Bill sees it, page 167. The identification that one alcoholic has with another is mysterious, spiritual, almost incomprehensible. But it is there. I feel it. Today I feel that I can help people and that they can help me. It is a new and exciting feeling for me to care for someone, to care what they are feeling, hoping for, praying for, to know their sadness, joy, horror, sorrow, grief, to want to share those feelings so that someone can have relief. I never knew how to do this or how to try. I never even cared. The fellowship of AA and God are teaching me how to care about others. As Bill sees it, freedom through acceptance. We admitted we couldn't lick alcohol with our own remaining resources, and so we accepted the further fact that dependence upon a higher power If only our AA group could do this hitherto impossible job. The moment we were able to accept these facts fully, our release from the alcohol compulsion had begun. For most of us, this pair of acceptances had required a lot of exertion to achieve. Our whole treasured philosophy of self-sufficiency had to be cast aside. This had not been done with sheer willpower. It came instead as a result of developing the willingness to accept these new facts of living. We neither ran nor fought, but accept we did, and then we began to be free. 
Grapevine, March 1962. Big Book Quote We have learned that whatever the human frailties of various faiths may be, these faiths have given purpose and direction to millions. People of faith have a logical idea of what life is all about. Alcox Anonymous, We Agnostics, page 49. 24 hours a day. A A thought for the day. Since I've been putting sobriety into my life, I've been taking out a lot of good things. I can describe it best as a kind of quiet satisfaction. I feel good. I feel right with the world. On the right side of the fence. As long as I put sobriety into my life, almost everything I take out is good. The satisfaction you get out of living a sober life is made up of a lot of little things. You have the ambition to do things you didn't feel like doing when you were drinking. Am I getting satisfaction out of living a sober life? Meditation for the day. It is a glorious way, the upward way. There are wonderful discoveries in the realm of the Spirit. Tender intimacies in the quiet times of communion with God. There's an amazing, almost incomprehensible understanding of the other person. On the upward way, you can have all the strength you need from that higher power. You cannot make too many demands on him for strength. He gives you all the power you need as long as you're moving along the upward way. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may see the beautiful horizons ahead on the upward way. I pray that I may keep going forward to the more abundant life. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota 55012. I'm Buddy, and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952, 1957, 1967, 1973, 1975, 1976, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1988, 1990, or 2001.